<laughs> they have been obsoleted by the Occupy movement. Um, so in General Assembly at Occupy Wall Street, if you agree with what's being said, you do jazz hands up. <laughs> now, I did this last week in San Antonio with 50 officers from JIWIC, the Joint Information Operations Warfare Command. <laughs> and when I got up to, to do my little talk, my 90 minute talk, the first thing I did was teach them Occupy Wall Street hand signals. <laughs> Partly to honor Occupy, which I was telling them is the big change they're all looking for. It's actually happening right now. Beware you don't miss it. It's actually you know, ongoing. But also, um, it's very funny to see an officer go like this. <laughs> and for them to see each other this way puts them in a different place. So this means I agree with what's being said. This means I disagree. This means I'm so-so. This means clarifying question. So C in the air is clarifying question. And L is louder, please. And this means blocking. And this is when they're voting and they're trying to decide well, how to get to consensus. This means I disagree so much with what, what's being proposed right now that I would leave the group rather than agree to it. And since it's a consensus-based process, which to me is a little troubling, but since it's a consensus-based process they're using, they, try to, they, they actually let the blockers say why, they do the whole thing, that's part of their process. So I don't think we'll use too much of this unless you're completely offended by what I'm, what I'm gonna <laughs> talk about today, which is another point I wanna make. So first is, feel free at any point to use Occupy hand signals for whatever anybody's saying. Um, second thing is, some of these things may well sort of run completely counter to intuition or to what you feel is right or to what you know worked for you or whatever else. I ask you to listen to that. So, so be aware of it, find out where in your body it kind of settles, what are you, what are you feeling? Maybe you make a note, hey, this, this really shocked me or felt different. And if you, if you want to, you know, offer feedback visually or even stop things and ask a question. But part of what this process is, part of what the economy is, really turns a lot of things upside down that we take for granted. There's a huge shift going on right now, a rebalancing of society. And only if we think far enough out can we actually land somewhere different from where we are. Otherwise, we wind up doing incremental things all the time. So one of, one of my beliefs is that you have to kind of go up pretty high and see things from a pretty high perspective in order to land far enough away from where you started. Otherwise, you're just you're doing this. And it's very hard to land in some new, different pocket of interesting stuff if you don't jump up far enough. So uh, the first two parts, we're kind of going to follow a process